So you had Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia there with a tribute from the state officially proud to his own. You heard that of Parliament being delivered by the leader of Parliament, <coughs> that is the Majority Leader of Serge Mensah Bonsu, flanked by the Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu too. You've also heard tributes from the family, father separately, from the mother, and also from the children, and from the wife, the very touching one, what virtually everybody thought was not going to be done by herself. The crux of the Vice President's message, perhaps the state's message, is that we failed you. We actually allowed people in this republic, your own citizens, colleagues, people you've sworn and ought to protect, to take your life unjustly. And we will do retribution. That's also what he said. Well, he hopes that that will be some form of what they call it, a repudiation of what has happened and that we are yet to see. We know that the government has also put in place a lot of things that it says it will do for this particular serving officer. But I did tell you that I have a guest with me here in our very coverage of the demise and the burial and the funeral of Major Adams Mahama Maxwell, the man whose demise has shocked the conscience and brought a scar to the thoughts of the nation in a way that we, we hope will bring to uh, major changes in this country. But another man who, who's ranking the major cell previously, and of course who's retired, is my guest here in the CEO, Captain Budukumse retired. He's now the CEO of Nezus Consulting. Captain, you're welcome. And I don't feel very happy having to engage you today because it's never an exciting day. And uh, we are all in mourning. The, the grandiose nature of this event, what does it say about how relevant this particular um, incident is to the nation? Well, I, I, I would say that it's also the way you do it. Pay yourself from, I think, a guilt we all collectively feel. I think Maxwell's death has pricked our national conscience that we are failing and we failed Maxwell. And the vice president captured it succinctly that we failed you, that we are sorry as a people collectively that we did this to you, one of ours, in your line of duty, in your sacrifice. So I, I nothing we can do can bring him back. But like the vice president said, the little that we can do to atone for our failures because we've been watching these levels of indiscipline, be it violence, criminal, financial, everything. We've been watching, reporting, watching, reporting, and now it blows up in our face and is actually threatening the state. And the level of the violence, the, the crudity of it, the, 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 the how should I, I don't, I don't I, normally I have a few words, <laughs> but... Mm. Now, it actually, the level of the, 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 the brutality, the bestiality of what we did as human beings has shocked us ourselves. And I'm a bit upset that we are demonstrating even this shock because we've been watching. Nana is a country of emergency meetings. We watch things for a long time, don't do nothing, and then suddenly we wake up, something is spoiled, and now we, it's like Agatha Christie. Who In fairness, I was talking to people within the rank of the military and many of them serving for a very long time, over three decades, say, mm -hmm. in their entire lifetime, they've not seen this happen on our soil when a military officer is doing this work and when he's not really on duty like this. It's not as if he's walking into an area armed, ready to combat, or doing one of those things that he does all the time. In your own experience in the military too, have you heard of this happen before? Sure. Actually, if I... It may be on my platform. A soldier brought a litany of other, other service persons okay. who have died in the line of duty in this country, which investigations and things have, like, it has happened. We investigate, and that's it. In you fairness, are, they were not mob lynched. They were not mob lynched, but in the line of duty. Okay. Also combating our own civilians. Anyway, mm. it was not like one unit fighting okay. another. Okay. You know? And um, things happen, and I think we are paying the price 
for not exacting retribution for wayward behavior. You misbehave, and we talk about it, and that's about it. Even when you are punished, people don't even hear. We don't see. So it, it, there is no deterrent factor in the system. So our uh, penal system is not functioning the way it ought to be so that it will actually give the indication to other people, serve as examples to those people who want to engage in a similar act so that they will stay away from it, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it doesn't, it, it doesn't deter people from, so from uh, also copying some of these things. Look, the, uh, there was... Forgive me, Captain Rita, I'm giving to understand that we have to go back to the um, ground and get to appreciate at the State House where this um, major national funeral is happening for the man who's done a lot for the state but was rewarded crudely 